Hi and welcome to the Creators Podcast. My name's Richard Beatty. I've been wanting to do this for a long time. In 2017, I did the tattoo and it went viral very quickly. And I just want to talk to you about that experience, just tell you what happened. And I want to explain what the tattoo is about because what I realized was that the people who were generally looking at the tattoo, they really didn't understand it. And I was only interviewed once about the tattoo. And even then I didn't really tell the full story about it for reasons that I'll probably explain. So first of all, I'm gonna show you the tattoo. So you know what I'm talking about. This was his first tattoo and you've probably seen it before. If you've ever searched tattoo on the internet, it's gonna come up at some point or other. And if you're on social media, it's probably popped up. It, 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 it's kind of everywhere. But it didn't start like that. That's not how it started. It wasn't even designed for Kenny. If we go back to the start, I had a client called Will and he was a really, really big guy. Massive, I think something like 32 stone or something. I, I, I might be wrong there, but he's huge. He's, 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 his arms are bigger than my legs. I did a consultation for him and he wanted two sleeves. I even kind of gave him a rough idea on the price of the sleeves, but I, even then I didn't realize how big he was. And when he stood up off the couch, he just kept on getting bigger and bigger. And I was like, I can't believe how big this guy actually is. And the, the, I badly priced the sleeves because the, the it was so much bigger than what I expected. So this is a picture of Will's sleeve. One sleeve was skulls and pocket watches and stuff like that. It was kind of quite generic roses, stuff like that. But the other sleeve, he gave us free run. I, I like doing mechanical stuff and, and turning people into robots and stuff. I like assemble them in a way that turns the body part into some sort of cybernetic robotic sort of design. We actually uh, give it the nickname of Acme. So I was putting Acme, you know, like off Roadrunner. Um, I was putting that in some of the tattoos and the mate said, right, it should stand for Automated Cybertronic Mechanical Engineering. So the obviously it, it kind of says everything that it does on the tin sort of thing. So I'd done this sleeve on, 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 on Big Will. I'd done two sleeves on, on Will and then he asked us to do the chest piece to, to connect the two. You know, he said, again, free run, do what you want. So I came up with this design, so we'll put this picture up now. And this was just a photograph of, uh, I'd, I'd got the picture of Will stood there, and then I photoshopped working on the iPad. I just drew on top of the picture this this idea that I had. The reason that I came up with this idea was like a combination of, of different things. I was thinking about the negative space around the tattoo that forms the shape of a tattoo. Like if it wasn't for the gaps in tribal, then tribal would just be black, you know? So like 50% of a tribal tattoo is the gaps around it, it's the bare skin. The bare skin helps make the, the tattoo. It's a huge part of it, but it's not the tattoo, you know? So I'd been thinking about that. And I'd also been thinking about the spirit, the being inside of you that controls your your body, your subconscious mind, that part of you that does things without you thinking about it. That um, when you when you breathe in, when you when you when you that makes you move your hands, you know, that 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 can that can make you speak, that can it's capable of doing all sorts of things, um, and you don't even think about it. So we've got this being inside us, this spirit inside us. They say that we've got, like, everybody's got this eight-year-old child trapped inside them. And, I mean, it was all separate. I was thinking about these things separately. I wasn't thinking uh, about Will's tattoo or anybody else's tattoo. I was just generally thinking about, you know, the gaps in between tattoos. And um, I'm really into the power of the mind and the subconscious mind and stuff. And I was thinking how that could be depicted in a tattoo, you know, the subconscious. It was using the negative space around the tattoo to create this visual image using his head, which is the space around the tattoo essentially, and making it look like there was a small body inside the big body controlling the big body. And it originally had uh, two levers on it and some buttons and some metal plates and stuff like that. And, and it really fit with the the certainly the the right sleeve that I'd, I'd done for him it didn't have a lot to do with the left sleeve but um it certainly fit with the the right sleeve so i showed him this design 
he looked at it and although he liked it and he could see the humor about it and you know uh he says I, li I like it but i just don't like the small arms he says the small arms are freaking us out he says i've spent years in the gym making my arms as big as possible and i tell you how big they are the skull that you can see on the right hand side uh, on it on his which is his left arm on the right hand side of the picture there's two of those skulls on that sleeve and both of them are life size both of them are as big as my head so um you can see there it's pretty much as big as his head his arms are massive he's got two life-size skulls on one arm and so i showed him it and he, he didn't he didn't like it he was like no I, I, it's just not me i was like fair enough i was a bit gutted but and i didn't want to show anybody i didn't want to put it out there in case somebody kind of copied the concept i knew it was new unique and you know i kept it kind of secret and didn't tell anybody about it and uh, then one day uh, kenny walked in the shop now he didn't have any tattoos at the time and it turned out i already knew him from a previous business that i had when i used to build custom cars so he sort of reintroduced himself to us he clearly had a, a a really good sense of humor it was he didn't have any tattoos he was wanting his first tattoo and he was talking about getting, I think he was talking about getting two sleeves. And uh, I said to him, right, we're cool, you know, like because you're into cars, we can go down this route and we can do the auto mech stuff and, you know, the Acme stuff with the car, using car parts and building the tattoo with the, with, with the car parts. And he's like, yeah, that's absolutely right with my street. He's really into cars. He's got multiple cars and he, he drives a truck and all this sort of stuff. So it fit really well with him. And I said, well, look, I've got this design that, for a chest that would connect the two sleeves that we're talking about doing and I, sh I, sh I showed him it and like i say kenny's kenny's got a right good sense of humor and he's seen it and he laughed straight away and he says that's brilliant you know he says that, that's absolutely amazing he says can we can we do that then and i was like yeah absolutely can we start with the chest piece though can we can we do that first because i was bursting to get it out of my system you know so the way with the way i draw the tattoos i just draw them straight to skin most of my tattoos especially this like so with mechanical parts and stuff, I, d I tend to just draw it straight to skin with, with Sharpie pens. And I'll start with the yellow, because I can't rub out, you see. So I'll start with the yellow and that'll be my rough. And then I'll go on with a, uh, an orange or a, a, you know, a mid-tone and that'll be kind of tightening down the design a little bit, moving bits and adjusting it, which is what that picture is. It's where the orange stage there. And then um, eventually I go, go on to a darker color, generally blue and tighten up the design even more and then um, uh, I'll then tattoo it. So the first picture there, Kenny stood like this with his arm, his hands out in front. I was actually using his hands uh, to then draw on to his chest to, to, to get the shape of what his fists would look like holding the what started off to be handles. At some point Kenny says, can we change the handles for a steering wheel because it's like more to do with, you know, like truck driving and stuff like that. So um, and driving the body instead of like operating the levers sort of thing, so it wasn't a problem. So we kind of had a, we ended up with a, a, a Knight Rider type steering wheel on the on the tattoo. And then I tattooed it and, and all told, I think he was in the seat for about four hours finished work after about three hours of tattooing there was about an hour of drawing on and about three hours of tattooing so it's nowhere near finished it's literally just kind of just getting it mapped out and laid out this was very much the the first session on it but i was so excited about it that you know obviously i had to i had to post it so i've, I've, I've posted it on my facebook and probably my instagram as well i wasn't really i didn't know what to expect i knew that people would look at it and like be like wow that's mental you know um but i didn't realize what was about to happen was, was going to happen so but it didn't take long at all before people picked up on it and started sharing it so this is a a, a, a picture from snake pit which is a page on instagram so snake pit shared it and that was quite an achievement really getting on snake pit you know what i mean it's uh um being recognized and, and and noticed by by these pages you know how the hell did it end up on snake pit i don't know this here is a picture it's just a screenshot of the video so i posted some pictures and i posted a video and my post really started to go quite wild but the video was going absolutely berserk picture that i'm showing you now is a screenshot of the, the video off my facebook 
think it was my first book. Wasn't it? Yeah, it is. It's my first book. And uh, posted six hours ago, and it was up to a hundred thousand views. Sixty-three shares. There was only sixty like likes or reactions to it, uh, and two comments. But it had a hundred thousand views. None of my videos, anything I'd ever posted, had not had that sort of reaction, and that was only sort of six hours in. Snake Pit shared it again, and they called it Tattoo of the Week. Again, some people might be like, you know, like recognition of Snake Pit isn't exactly kind of what you'd want, but like, you know, good and bad, you know what I mean? It doesn't matter. It's it's it's, it's nice that like people were seeing it, and, and, and it was affecting people. I knew it would affect people. I knew when you look at it, it really kind of plays with the mind so this picture here is 14 hours ago um same screenshot we're now at 226,000 video views 137 shares 137 reactions like th this was going absolutely crazy i was watching the video views and they were going up in the thousands it wasn't going one two three four five it was going one thousand two thousand three thousand four thousand five thousand and then the memes started uh, so that this one here it says uh, if this guy ain't living in 3017 no one is now another screenshot of the, um, the the video views again like so it says on Saturday at the top I'm guessing this was like Sunday it was maybe the Monday I'm not too sure when I took the screenshot but 949,000 views 349 shares 478 reactions it was just going absolutely bonkers imger is that how you say it, it, it so uh one of one of my old apprentices sent us a uh, a screenshot of uh imger post i'm gonna call it imger 1,997,825 up shares or views or something like that that's uh I, I don't know how that works but whether it's likes or what but you know again absolutely bizarre that i'd never even heard of this platform before you know i'm only really on facebook and, and, and instagram and you know now there's a completely different platform sharing it and it's 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 about to rock two million you know again we're back to another screenshot of the of the video it still says on saturday so it must have been the same day as the last one where it was 997 views now it's 1.2 million so that was like nearly three three hundred thousand views in like a space of just a, a few hours and it just kept on going and going then it ended up on the front cover of the local newspaper saying uh, taking it on the chest and that, that actually isn't the first time i've been on the cover of the evening news and style i've I have, I have been on there for for cars as well but once it kind of got in the evening news i think like other newspapers started to pick up on it so this is a shot of the the daily mail um never been in the daily mail before it says is this the is this the weirdest tattoo ever and it says trucker gets a tattoo which makes him look like a tiny man driving his own body and then you, you know you're really starting to see the comments you know on all these posts that people are posting the memes that people are posting and stuff and a lot of it was quite negative a lot of it was people having a laugh at it and that's that that was the idea for people to be able to have a laugh at it i think if you can't laugh at yourself then you know what i mean like you you you're living a pretty sad life and um, if you can make people laugh then that's an absolute gift and if you've got a tattoo that can make people laugh without you even having to do anything then that, that's a gift too you know so now I know you get like keyboard warriors and a lot of them just want to put a comment on there just so that they get a reaction and you know like you know people like laugh at their comment or whatever and uh, you know uh, it's okay for people to to have a, a different view on, on things but um, he is a shot from uh, the the Sun newspaper. Uh, it says, "What an absolute legend! This guy's crazy new tattoo takes the internet by storm." Rascal's Nest. There's another one, and it says, uh, "Some people are born for greatness." You know, the, 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 some of the things that people says. Jeremy Vine, who did this tattoo, and then this one was it was a I got a message off somebody who. Uh, sent us a screenshot of the article in the Colombian newspapers and it says your art is in the Colombian news <laughs> it was at this point that I realized it went right right around the planet by this time you know it was it, it was it was all over the place and this one here Aussie man reviews I was really chuffed about this one because I like Aussie man reviews he, he, he reviews some funny shit and the way he talks about it and the things he says about stuff it's 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 funny and 
he reviewed my tattoo and it was funny. I was really proud of that that achievement, you know, the um, just the fact that it was on there. Um, like I said, I didn't expect any of this. I didn't. I never, I never thought about any of this. I just thought, right, I want to post post the pictures of this tattoo, and you know, this was several days in, I guess now, and um, I think it was about five days in, and you know, like Aussie Man reviews, he's, he's doing it, it's fifteen thousand interactions on it, and um, like I say, thousands and thousands of comments on these, and a lot of them are laughs, a lot of them are tagging the friends. Um, you know, you should get this tattoo, this is your next tattoo. But one of the, the most common comments at the time that I was really noticing was coming up was men commenting saying, imagine having sex with him. Now, let's think about this for a minute. What are these people thinking? It's very clear what they're thinking, isn't it? You know what I mean? They're imagining being a woman and my pal Kenny coming at him with this tattoo and that and you know some of these dudes are here thinking about like them laying flat on the back with the legs in the air getting rogered off a guy with a miniature body inside his own body so like you know it just kind of shows uh, the mentality of of a lot of men <laughs> then the lad bible shared it obviously the lad bible's a massive massive page on, on on social media and instagram and wherever else it is you know and uh so these uh, i don't know whether the uni lad but uni lad had shared it first and uni lad was the only people who actually interviewed us nobody else not one person no newspaper or anything bothered interviewing anybody or anything nobody got asked any questions kenny didn't ask any questions get asked any questions nobody asked me any more questions but uni lad did get in touch they spoke to Kenny and they spoke to me and uh, so just winding back like I, I explained to Kenny how he because he didn't understand about like the subconscious mind and stuff and he says I, I can't explain that and um, he says well just tell them it's because you're a truck driver you know what I mean and and, and that you you know it's relevant to your your life in that way so that's what he told them and I pretty much kind of went along with that just to keep things simple because dipping into a conversation about you know negative space optical illusions and the subconscious mind it takes a little bit of explaining you know so um i just left it like that but my point here is so every story that was written about this was robbed the sun newspaper the daily mail this is how good their level of reporting is they don't even bother to ask a question to the person who did it and they, you know like it would be nice if someone came to the artist and like kind of gave some credit and you know uh, you got a description of it and and you know why what how all that sort of stuff but like so you know that th there's a very clear uh, vision of the the level of reporting there is no reporting they just copy stuff that they find on the internet so like you know if you believe what you read in the newspapers uh, i'm telling you now they robbed it off the internet you know so um hmm. so um yeah but the lad bible started sharing it and there was at one point they were sharing it a couple of times a month this is a a, a, a meme that the the made for for their instagram man gets bizarre tattoo of tiny man driving his body um and uh, then, then, then another one, um, it took four hours to complete and straight after he showed his son, but he didn't expect it to go viral with over two million likes. A lot of people have got a lot of content out of it. The Lad Bible have used it loads. Um, and then it started getting put into these like uh, gallery things like world's worst tattoo ever or world's funniest tattoo ever or whatever. And it was always the last one. So the people who clicking through the the post got bombarded with advertising all the way till the end so they'd use my tattoo as the clickbait at the start and then it wouldn't be until the last image scrolling through that you that, that you're seeing it so so this was a, a, a post on again Aussie man reviews but the credited KTD media I don't know who the hell that is and they haven't credited me, you know what I mean? Like, nobody again bothered to even ask who the artist was, you know what I mean? It's just like, you know, I haven't got fucking anonymous written on my head, you know what I mean? 
and it says the best part of it is it's not even finished yet the internet holds its breath for the final result well I haven't really posted the final results because uh, we'll get to that in a minute but nobody really looked at it and thought what is that artist thinking what was that actually about what was it depicting you know people either just laughed at it or which I wanted or come up with some sort of mean comment about it or, or tag the friends or, or said imagine what it's like w women didn't type that women didn't type imagine having sex with him no no woman wrote that only men wrote that comment but yeah Kenny did come in and uh, get further work done on the tattoo so on this picture here you can now see there's a flux capacitor in the middle of his chest he's got 88 mile an hour on the dashboard he's got a heart monitor He's now got buttons and switches and, and gauges. Um, he's got a clock. He's got an ignition key. Um, and he's got a start button. So, you know, we're busy turning his, his tattoo into, into a, or rather his body, into a, into a machine. And then we moved on to the, uh, the arms and started doing the mechanical stuff as well. And at that point, Kenny actually had some sort of an accident and injured his back. And, and still to this day, this tattoo isn't finished. So I, I'd love to, I'd love to get this tattoo finished. But um, Kenny's life changed, and because he wasn't able to drive anymore, it, it caused him problems with his job, and um, obviously spending the rest of his life on strong painkillers, you know. So I, I guess his priorities massively changed. I, I'm, I'm still in touch with him, and I've, you know, I've asked him to come in and. Uh, get get it done but uh, it's just not high on his priority list at all so I in the back of my mind I always had this idea that these th this design this concept would make a good t-shirt as you can see I'm wearing one now it took a long time to find someone to even tackle the printing process of it because uh, it's really difficult to print a t-shirt right up onto the onto the neck material like we did there but um, so here's a photograph of me wearing this t-shirt that I've got on now so you haven't got the microphone in front of us um, and that's basically uh, pretty much the, the the Kenny tattoo it's got a steering wheel instead of a different sort of steering wheel and stuff but it's very similar to the the original Kenny tattoo and then you know there's it doesn't have to be a man driving his body there's a picture of me wearing a Bugatti there's my, you know mini me driving a Bugatti mini me driving a a 1932 Ford Roadster, mini me driving a, a Lamborghini, and there's lot, there's, there's 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 endless there's endless options with that. So the shirts are actually available on my website. If you go to Immortal Innovations and then you go to clothing, um, you'll on the store part, you'll you'll find those. Years on, five years on, I really just wanted to kind of put that full story out there of of how it happened and the experience of the the whole thing going viral because it was an extremely uh, unusual time I think like all told it was about three months that it was you know still going and the newspapers and a company actually got in touch with us and said do you realize your your, your tattoo picture's gone gone viral my like tattoo video and I said yeah uh, just a bit and they says, well would you like to copyright it now, I don't know why they didn't copyright the photograph, there's maybe different rules, but they did copyright the the video and it says, right, you need to put go back, edit the post, put this in the post, and then we'll be able to go and recoup some income from it because they're making money off it. And people were making money off it. People still do make money off it um, with the clickbaiting and all the advertising and stuff like that. They copyrighted the video and now and ever since, I get paid for the video when somebody shares it it's not a massive amount of money but i do get a, a, a royalty for it and because over the period of like five years i would say that i've probably got paid more for the the video copyright than i have from the actual tattoo i think i think it's it's now became part of the fabric of the internet it's not going to go away um it's Facebook has it as a, a little gif if you go to type something in a message or something or, or, or on a post you can hit the gifs button and I don't know what you search it under crazy tattoo or something like that and it comes up as a gif Instagram for about a week 
used it as their profile picture when you searched hashtag tattoo. When you search hashtag tattoo, you would get like the Instagram post at the photo at the top and then all the pictures of the, that were uh, hashtag tattoo. And the, the, the for about a week, uh, that, that tattoo was Instagram's profile picture for hashtag tattoo. So absolutely bizarre experience. I had no idea that was gonna happen. I wish that I'd watermarked the images and that's like, you know, again, I was just wanting to put it out there, you know what I mean? But if I'd like watermarked it and if I knew that was going to happen, then, you know, I might have got a bit more marketing out of it and that people might have known that I did it. You know, people ask me, they say, what do you think you're most famous for? Like, is it the tattoo or is it the Killer Bee tattoo machines that I make? I'm known all over the world in the tattoo industry for making the Killer Bee tattoo machines. I've won awards for them and they're one of the best tattoo machines in the world. But I'm also known all over the world for this tattoo and this is my far more viral than the, the you know, and, and widespread than the, the tattoo machine that I make. I'm only known for that in the tattoo industry. And even then a lot of people don't know it was me. But with this, most people don't know it was me. It's it's very, very, very rare that someone who shares it actually credits me for it. And it's very almost zero that anybody's asked me anything about it. So that's why I wanted to put this video out there. So I could get my say and five years on explain the experience of what it's been like to to have that tattoo out there and you know, so people will post things, share whatever, and then I'll get ta I'll get my friends tagging us and saying, "Oh, you, you know, it's, here it goes again," sort of thing. And you know, people who know that I did it will often often tag us in it. But the people who, the, the companies, the companies who are uh, using it as clickbait, the companies that are making money off the marketing from it, don't ever give me any credit. You know, so um, that's 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 the internet for you. You know what I mean? But um, because of that, no one's ever really asked me about it, and so I wanted to make this video to explain the whole concept of it, where it came from, how it started, um, and you know where 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 it's at today. So, and where it's at today is on a T-shirt. Who'd have thought that, you know? So, uh, if you want one of the T-shirts, jump on the website immortalinnovations.co.uk. And you get them on there, there's a bunch of other shirts on there as well if you want any Killer Bee shirts or even if you want any shirts printed, we do we, we do the, the, the shirt printing. So yeah, thanks for listening. Um, hope you found it interesting. It's certainly been, uh, the, the, the world seemed to find it interesting. So I guess uh, it's, uh, we, we've got the information out there now. So that that's my last say now. I don't need to say anything else about it. So thanks for watching. Next video is probably going to be engraving um, I think that's uh, I'm, I'm working on a Technics 1200 deck project where I'm, I'm, I'm they're all polished up now they're all stripped down polished up I'm about to start engraving them so happening soon and yeah um, thanks for listening we'll see you next time cheers guys bye bye